Hello YouTube. Alright, what are we doing? This is a Heathcote SB200 HF amplifier that I've had as a project for about a month now. And I just want to give you some updates. Alright, so um, at the moment we're sort of stuck by the amount, of, as far as parts go, getting them in. Um, so I'm working on the chassis at the moment, fixing uh, things that are old and, and gone. Alright, so the first thing that we've done, obviously, is done a detail. Um, we're, I'm just waiting on um, some more spun alloy dials to come in, faces, and these ones here. Cleaned up the front fascia. I was going to replace it uh, for, a, for a modern one with brighter lettering, but this has come up so good. Um, also cut the display, so I've cut out all of the scratches and polished that um, and inserted an LED um, bulb in the metering unit, which brings this all up a nice white. On the rear side of the amplifier, of, um, because Australia is 240 volt and... Um, what I did was replace the just small fitting uh, for an IEC uh, fitting, and this is a filtered fitting, um, as we can see here. All right, so it fits in there quite nicely, and then I've just run spade connectors off uh, with the original power back into the uh, into Q3 power distribution block for the transformer. The other thing that I did with this was um, scrub down the transformer and give it a nice lick of new paint. Uh, it just has a slight wrinkle finish to it. Um, and that was quite, that was brown and very rusted. I also replaced the um, SO239 fittings and this one here. This is quite an ordeal because you have to remove the VSWR um, metering unit from inside, which I'll show you in a second. And I've used uh, all new um, mounting hardware on this one here. Um, these were severely damaged. This one here, I didn't keep it to show, but it only had half the insulator in the middle here. It had all been out and it was, it was so tarnished, um, it was not effective. Uh, replaced um, old screws here with new new screws and washers. I haven't touched this yet. Uh, the plans is to put a, a, a new um, a new ground connection in there, and I will just clean up the relay fittings or the control fittings here. Uh, a bit of work needs to be done in this area, um, but I'm, I've got um, a couple of. Uh, matched 572s to replace the ones that are in here. Uh, this unit was down on power um, and it's not due to here. At least I have a sus I'm, sus I'm suspicious of that. It is due to the um, the tubes are just unmatched and I'll show you that in a second. A bit of cosmetic work. Um, today I sanded uh, with an orbital sander the whole top cover. Uh, which gives it a nice um, um, mottled finish. And then I sprayed with uh, high gloss um, urethane. And it just gives a nice, nice look to, to this. I also recessed these screw holes, so I've put a nice edge on them. It's just a little attention to detail. All right, so we'll take this off. Okay, so we've got two tubes in here. Um, one is obviously a Cetron, the other is a Sylvana of some sort, and this is an audio tube. It's not actually designed as a straight out transmitting tube. Um, the tube makeup is uh, very different. So I have two um, 572 tailors which we'll be putting in there. Um, given this cabinet in here, a, a quite a clean. Uh, today I've removed the um, the tripping 
uh, circuit protectors and put in two new ones. The old ones were just way past it. And again, sanded the top of this to get rid of all of the years of damage and coated that in um, high gloss urethane as well. This power supply is in, will be replaced. I have the parts ordered. I'm just waiting for delivery. Can't get anything out of Harbark at the moment, which is very sad. Uh, he won't po even post a priority. Um, anything priority will get to Australia. You just pay more for the shipping. And I'm prepared to do that, but I'm not able to get anything out of Harbark. So it leaves me no other alternative but to, um, to source another power supply board. Uh, from an, And I will do a video on that when that happens. All right. No angry comments. This is a work in progress. Uh, we have the, this is just a mock-up soft start board. I have another one on order. Uh, I need to replace the um, 20, um, uh, oh, sorry, I need to replace this cap and this cap and go through it. Um, I started tidying this up. I'm going to situate this up the front and under there. And I'm going to run screw-in connectors for this. And I'm in the process of installing a glitch system with a one amp fuse for the new power supply board. As you can see, the VSWR unit, I cleaned that up. Made it all symmetrical. The spaces underneath of this meant that this uh, dipped in. Uh, replaced the wires that came in for the RF in and RF out to the VSWR unit. They're a lot larger than what's required, but what was in it was too thin. Uh, it was non non um, uh, non Heathcote product. All right, so I'm looking for the new updated fan. Uh, Harbark isn't selling them at the moment either, so I'm looking for one of those. I'll get one of those and replace that. Uh, all the switches look good up the front, so the main uh, on and off switch. And also the wafer switches, there's no sign of arcing. All right. All right, so that's the F the uh, SB200 so far. Very, very nice. Um, it'll come up looking absolutely stunning by the time I'm finished with it. And my experience with SB200s, with a decent power supply, decent tubes, and the back end tuned properly, uh, this is a 900 watt PEP on 240 volts every day and my last one was doing that and it's still uh, getting those sorts of figures on 20 meters so there you go um, that's the update on the SB200 hopefully I'll be able to provide a power supply video soon and a soft start and I'm also putting in the soft um, th sorry the two-step start and then there's a soft start module for modern radios that I've got to go in it as well Remember, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll post more videos soon. Thank you.